A life cut much, much too short. A two-year-old is dead after neighbors found him floating in a pond steps away from a playground. Good evening, I'm Lois Tomey. I'm Chris Safadi. The death has shaken the community. Link News anchor Annette Montgomery has more from the retreat at Vista Lakes in Fort Myers where the baby was discovered. The playground at the retreat at Vista Lake Apartments is one Samantha Quinones says her children frequently play at, but they've never had an experience like the one they did Saturday afternoon. Samantha says her daughter Serenity was only on the playground for about 30 minutes before she called her saying this. Mommy, it looks like there's two people looking for a baby and then we just looked at the pond and there's a baby in the pond and I'm like, Serenity, a baby? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, are you sure it's not a doll? She said, no, mom, it's a baby. I said, does it look like the baby's moving? She said, no. Samantha says she quickly jumped into her car with her seven-year-old son and rushed to the scene. She's a trained EMT who lives in the community. So she's aware of just how close the playground is to the water. When I got there, there was um, the baby was already pulled out of the pond and he was laid out on the floor and everybody was surrounding him. I immediately called 911 and as I'm calling 911, I'm giving trying to give CPR to the baby as well, which when I arrived also the baby was in proper position. So I fixed baby's position and then started performing CPR as I'm talking to 911. Unfortunately, it was too late as the two year old toddler passed away and days later, neighbors like Samantha and her children are still replaying those tragic moments at a place they go to often. I'm traumatized, I'm heartbroken. Young baby just started his life and I just feel like it's tragic, you know, and I just can't help but to wonder like what was going through his mind, you know, you was alone when all of that happened. I definitely pray for the family. I just pray for their healing. I pray God can place his hands over them and guide them through this tough time, as well as all of us here in the community who experienced it. Today, neighbors like Samantha are still wondering how this could have happened, how long the toddler was in the water, and if anybody was watching him. We've reached out to Fort Myers Police for answers to those questions. We're still waiting to hear back on that. Samantha told us she plans to have her children speak with a school counselor tomorrow because of the traumatizing situation.